In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use PA slot options out of the gun type formation to do a really good job at consistently attacking the space that's open on the defense and being able to attack in the middle of the field that is going to open up the sidelines for your offense later on in the game. Now, I believe that attacking in the middle of the field is super, super important. And if you wanna get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to do so, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and uh, defensive ebooks. And we do have a gun tight full ebook in there for you guys. Okay, so uh, why is this play good? There's a couple different things that you have on this play, but really the skinny post is what makes the is what really makes this play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our tight end and then we have this post right in behind it. And then what I like to do is really simply just, we're gonna take Carmichael. You could put him on a slant or an, uh, a five yard in route. And then we're gonna put Cromarty on a slant and motion him out just like this. So what you're gonna see here is with that streak, we can throw the ball in the middle of the field. And if they don't have mid zone knockout, it's really hard for them to um, to consistently defend this. So again, let me give you just a quick example of what a dollar defense might look like. You see they kind of do something like this. Um, and, and what you'll see is this post route, a lot of the times, will be able to get in kind of soft spots against the cover four drop. So one of those soft spots is right there, and then you can ag it. Now, because they brought their safeties down in the box, they do play that a little better, specifically at a cover four. Um, out of cover three or cover two, it won't be as good, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, but the other thing that I want to show you is because they bring these guys down, it leaves them relatively vulnerable to potentially getting one play touchdown over the top. So you'll see here that, again, you do have some other reads on the play. You have that in route, all that. But look how far this post route will run over the top of that guy. And you see how that can be a potential bomb over the top if they do bring those safeties down, which is a relatively common thing for people to do. The outside quarter on the right side, he or the left side, he's not going to play it. Now, if they leave the safeties backed off, so like let's say they're at their default depth in a cover four drop coverage, what you'll see is – pretty much a very similar concept. So he's gonna run and you can free form up and over. Um, but as you can see, sometimes that guy can run. However, if the safeties are back, so like let's say there's the, the safeties are indeed backed off, like they are right now, they don't walk them down into, uh, into the box. Then what you're able to do with this play is now you're able to throw kind of right in here. And again, you want to try to cut that off a little bit better than what I just did. Um, but basically you have that. And then the other thing that you have with this play is let's say that they're running some man. This play is really good against man because you have the motion out slant, which the motion out slant is one of the most consistent man beaters in the game. But you also have this deep post route, which I got to free form a little bit better, but that deep post route can be one of the best man beaters for you in the game. The deep post routes this year are super, super valuable for attacking man-to-man -man coverage. So, and because you have a tight end on a streak, that tight end on a streak is going to clear out any kind of middle third um, like they might have out of cover three or anything like that. So you'll see, there goes the post, freeform that up and over. And as you can see, that uh, that can be a really, really good play and big play for you um, against the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other thing that you have in this is, let's say, let's say that they're going to run some cover three on you, you know, maybe look something like this. And what you'll see with this is, again, the cover three, this slant will kind of hold the third for just a second. And what it does is it leaves this wide open in this little pocket. You just want to ag it. And a lot of times they're not able to play you um, in the middle of the field. So you have a lot of options in terms of the deep. Um, now, it, let's say that this guy kind of plays more so like a mid read. Like he kind of drifts back um, and tries to take away that deep post route before, you know, early on in the play, then what you're able to do is check down to your in route over the middle. And that's why I like that in route because it's coming over the middle relatively quickly. Um, you could also put him on a drag route, but I like the in route just for the spacing. So now they have to kind of play this underneath area and then they're going to have to lurk back to the slant. Um, so it's going to look something a little bit more like this. And so what you'll get when they start to do that is now the whole middle of the field is going to be open up top. So just high ball, ag, um, and then you want to basically try to come come back to the ball to avoid the KO in the middle of the field. Um, you know, so that's the idea. Okay, so again, utilizing these high balls is really um, important to be able to throw if they're leaving these guys backed off. So you see he stays down, high ball, boom, and there you see that's kind of the idea 
uh, with that. So now they have to carry that. And then when they have to carry that, you know, depending on what they do to carry it. So like, let's say they put this guy in a third to take that away. Okay, then they're going to lurk underneath and they're going to take away uh, Carmichael underneath, right? Pretty common, uh, pretty common adjustment that they might make. They could make it out of cover two or cover four. It's really irrelevant to us which one they do make it out of. But you'll see they go to that and then we could throw that in the backside um, because motion slants are one of the best routes in the game. So that's how you can utilize this play to beat cover three, cover four. Um, if they do bring those, if they are in the habit of bringing those safeties down, chances are we're going to have a one play touchdown over the top if they're in a cover four style defense and then if they're in a cover three style defense that's a little bit of a, a little bit too late of a throw there but you see we can get this up and over the top of you know any kind of cover three coverage now we didn't spend a ton of time on cover two really with cover two you are just high lowing the yellows so the yellow zones in the middle of the field so if they go back like in this example they go back we would want to throw that um the deep half will play this this year a little bit better than it has in years past but there is a window to throw it and again it depends on what the user is going to do in the middle of the field if the user drops back we're going to throw the in route but let's say the user stays um, let's say the user kind of stays underneath to try to take down the in route take away the in route and the slant then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to throw this again in the middle of the field and force them to have some kind of mid zone ko uh, to be able to defend that relatively effectively so that's pa slot option guys one of the best plays i think it's really important in your offense to have something that attacks deep intermediate and short in the middle of the field which is the space between the numbers um, on the left and the numbers on the right that is kind of the middle of the field. If you can attack intermediate, deep, and short, it's really going to help your offense go to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure you join the Patreon. You'll get access to all of my ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new stuff we release while you are a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.